Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button because you'll find new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And don't forget to hit the bell too so you get notified when my videos go live. Now today I'm going to take you along with me as I decorate our new Christmas tree. Usually we do a live tree, however this year my theme for our living room is all is calm and it is just how it sounds. Everything is going to be very neutral and toned down and calming, which is definitely a space we could use in our house. So we went ahead and purchased a new flocked Christmas tree. I'm going to show you all of the elements I'll be using today and also include where I purchased them from. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let me tell you a little bit about this Christmas tree. It is from Hobby Lobby. I waited until it went 50% off and it has been worth every single penny. It's a great quality tree. It went together super fast in less than five minutes and it was beautiful right out of the box. And then for the bottom of the tree, we have sort of a layered look going on. I found this beautiful dark wicker basket type collar, which I love the contrast of the dark and the light. And then we also have a tree skirt underneath of it. And that is from Home Goods. It's a gorgeous, chunky, sweater looking yarn tree skirt. All right, so let me show you all the elements that I'll be adding to this Christmas tree. We're gonna keep it pretty simple because like I said, we're doing all is calm. So we don't want anything too cluttered and we want everything to stay nice and neutral. So the first thing is this set of Ray Dunn ornaments. I did sort of make an investment in these. This set of 12 was $49.99 at Home Goods, but I have never ever seen the Ray Dunn ornaments before. So when I saw them, I scooped them up and I like that they're neutral so that they can go with any color scheme we might do in the future with our Christmas tree. The other thing I have over here is a touch of handmade ornaments. So I did a tutorial on these back in July during my Christmas in July and these are two from that tutorial. So I have a Christmas tree that is made with wood and jute and a bead on the bottom and the other one is a stained wood one with a little Christmas tree drawn on the front and the reason these are also very sentimental is because they were made with scrap wood from our she shed build. So if you're following along with that, you know what's been going on with the she shed and I'll link that playlist down below if you wanna catch up with that. But those are definitely sentimental, something nice to just put on the tree. Now I have three of these snowflakes. These are from Hobby Lobby. They're normally $20 each, but at 50% off, they were $10 each. I wanted something a little bit more hefty that was gonna make a statement, but still had that neutral and farmhouse look with it. So these are made with the farmhouse beads, which I loved, and they're nice and big, so they'll be beautiful on the tree. I also have some neutral ribbon. I got this on Christmas after clearance sale, so this is from Michaels. It's normally $15 for the roll, but I'm sure I only paid maybe like $5 at the most for this. It's sort of a neutral, it's not burlap, but it's got the neutral tone of burlap on there. So that's two and a half inch wide and I have a hundred yards on that roll. The tree topper is going to be this Rustic Reindeer. I love him. He is from Kirkland's. He was on our Christmas tree in our bedroom last year. I thought he would really, really look nice out on this Christmas tree this year. So he's going to get a little bit of an update too, so he'll match really well. But he is beautiful. He has little snowballs in his halo and it's just a gorgeous piece. I'm excited to see that on top of this tree. Next, I also have some lamb's ear. So this is a little bit non-traditional of Christmas, but I love the farmhouse look and I always use this in my decor. So I went ahead and decided that I was gonna pull every single piece of lamb's ear that I have out and use it on this Christmas tree. I'm hoping I don't have to buy more. I have several stems and then I even took apart a centerpiece that I had on hand that had all of these picks stuck into it and took those out so that I could stick them into the tree. And these two wood signs here is kind of what sets the tone for this tree and kind of made up my mind as far as the theme. So these are just kind of wood rustic-y signs from Michaels. It says, all is calm, all is bright. So those will be cute for the front of the tree. 
first thing I added to my tree was my ribbon. I started at the top and draped it down diagonally. And I also tried to make sure that my loops that I was creating were pretty similar in size. I made sure to tuck all of those sections into the back of the tree so you didn't see the creases that were being formed. I also didn't have to use all of the ribbon on the roll, which was nice because later on I'll be using that for another decor piece. Next I added my wood signs. These are pretty important to me to have a good spot on the tree so I wanted to work around them. So I just added those in where I wanted before I moved on to the next accessory. Then I added in the large snowflakes. I always work with the larger items first before moving on to the smaller accessories. You definitely want to make sure you stand back and look at your tree to make sure it looks balanced. So I did come back and adjust these snowflakes and move them around a little bit to make sure my tree looked even on both sides. Then I added in my lamb's ear greenery. I started with my bigger sized picks and sort of used those more towards the bottom of the tree and then came back in with the smaller picks and filled in little spots here and there. And luckily I had plenty on hand so I didn't have to go purchase any more. I saved a few of the lamb's ear leaves to add to the reindeer tree topper piece. I just tucked a few of them into the existing greenery to help tie this whole look together. And I didn't hot glue them or anything, they stayed in there just fine. I didn't want these to be permanent. And they seemed to stay just perfectly, and then I added this piece to the top of the tree. Then it was time to add my handmade ornaments. I wish I had made a few more of these, but I think that makes them even more special that there's just a few of them, and then that adds that sentimental touch to our tree with memories from our summer. And next it was time to tear into those Ray Dunn Christmas ornaments. I love these and they were just the perfect touch to add to the tree. They did come with a ribbon tied to the top and I didn't want the red in the tree so I just cut those off and added some simple ornament hooks to them instead. I love this touch of shininess within the tree. It really softened the look. I felt like the bottom of the reindeer tree topper looked a little skinny and I had plenty of my ribbon left over. So I went ahead and whipped up a quick bow, tree topper bow, to add to the base of the tree topper to really give it more fullness at the top. And those are all of the elements and accessories they added to this year's Christmas tree. I am so incredibly happy with the way that the whole thing came together. It is so beautiful in our living room and I hope to finish decorating the rest of the room with this beautiful tree as our centerpiece.
Thank you all so, so much for joining me for my Christmas decorating video. I hope that it inspired you. Please give this video a thumbs up for me. I still have so much Christmas decorating to do in our home, so please subscribe so you can follow along. I have more great DIY tutorials in the link below that, and you can find me on Facebook and on Instagram, and I'll link those down in the description box below. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.